In 1784, a decision was made to move Ireland's four main courts to a new location in what is now the Four Courts. Designed by James Gandon, the building included a central block flanked by adjoining wings. The centrepiece was the distinctive drum and dome that makes such a striking impression on Dublin's skyline today. One of the most momentous events in the history of the Four Courts is the part it played in Ireland's Civil War. Following the signing of the Anglo-Irish Treaty with Great Britain in December 1921, Ireland was cast into turmoil between those for and against the agreement. In a provocative act, the anti-treaty IRA occupied the Four Courts where they established their own national headquarters. On the 28th of June 1922, the pro-treaty National Army surrounded the court's complex, culminating in three days of intense shelling and bombardment. To minimize disruption to the legal system during the occupation, other venues throughout the city were used. In the aftermath of the battle between both treaty factions, the Four Courts complex suffered extensive damage. Scattered amongst the rubble were centuries worth of precious public archives belonging to the public records office that was destroyed by fire. The rebuilding of the Four Courts was spearheaded by architect T.J. Byrne. When it reopened in October 1931, Byrne modernized the interior of the buildings for the requirements of 20th century use. In more recent times, the functions of the Four Courts have moved well beyond its physical location. Court cases and hearings can now be administered remotely, and from the ruins of the Public Records Office, a virtual recreation has emerged. Now with this app, you can explore the events that have shaped one of Ireland's national landmarks, a place that has evolved and re-emerged for over 200 years. Whether you're visiting the Four Courts site itself, or want to discover more about Irish history, this app provides you with a wealth of information in a user-friendly way. It's the perfect interactive guide 